It's National Bullying Prevention Month, and the state's top educator wants schools to emphasize kindness. State Superintendent Mark Johnson says kindness should be part of the plans of school safety. Our Madison Forsey discussed the impact of bullying with educators here in the East, and what are they saying? Yeah, it was pretty interesting because the biggest thing that they're trying to talk about during National Bullying Prevention Month is actually what bullying really is. And to help kids recognize the difference between bullying and teasing, or what they call a mean moment. Teasing versus bullying. The two might seem interchangeable, but some North Carolina educators are trying to remind their students that there is a big difference. Maybe something may be happening on the bus, maybe early that morning, or something that say, I'm getting bullied, or maybe something happened in the cafeteria and they say, Well, I'm getting bullied, and, I'm, and I always explain to them, well, Has it happened just one time, or has it happened over and over? Bullying is a one-way street. It's a recurring imbalance of power when one person or group is causing physical or emotional distress for someone else. Get a lot of that where a kid says, I'm being bullied, but actually, you know, they're participating in it too, which that's an issue in itself, but we don't want to call it bullying because that implies one thing when it's not. Educators say social media also makes it difficult for teachers to spot and stop bullying from happening. It's really a different world. Like we, Everything is done through social media. A lot, they communicate on social media nowadays. They don't talk to each other a lot. It's, it's in, on social media. When it's on social media, and I tell them a lot of those things that you put out there, you can't get it back. Murphy also says that kids need to be reminded that while bullying is never acceptable, acts of kindness always are. What we're taking away, we need to replace with something good. So we're telling kids not to bully, but we're not really giving them what the, the positive you know, behavior that they should be displaying, and that's what we really want to focus on. They hear a lot of don't do this, don't do this, but they don't necessarily know. Then what is it that we are supposed to do? Murphy and Braswell also told me that one of the biggest ways to put a stop to bullying is by teaching kids conflict management and starting a conversation at home about how to properly cope with emotions. In the studio, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side.